Hey my friends, we are back with a new video and today we will be talking about the collective consciousness and the great awakening which is happening right now. So to be able to understand more and to see the brighter picture of what is going on and maybe just to become more positive about current situation because I know it's like many of you are facing with different emotions at this moment so with this video we will be able to understand more about why we should stay positive so firstly let's start with the collective consciousness firstly firstly we can start with the individual consciousness so then we can understand the collective consciousness so we will start again with our friend here these guys becoming really conscious person <laughs> he's an amazing guy like now we already know him he's really questioning the reality at this moment so as we learned from my previous videos what is the state of being when thoughts are creating emotions and emotions are creating thoughts the circle this circle is called state of being we now understand this so one thing which we could also add to it when the emotions are filled with love joy and gratitude and you know all the positive emotions this field around its body is getting bigger and stronger but when emotions are more negative like anger and stress and frustration and unworthiness this field is getting smaller so it's not it's losing its strength and when this guy is thinking about the things which are happening around him he's sending the thoughts to the field or to the universe and his emotions are attracting into his life the intention that he's sending through his thoughts through the electromagnetic waves or better said through electric waves of his thoughts he's sending the intention to the universe or to the field and he's getting back or attracting it with the magnetical waves through his emotions so this is this is the process of sending and attracting and this field around him this circle this is called the state of being but we could also name this the state of his consciousness because he's able to be conscious just about what he's thinking and feeling so when he will start asking deeper questions he will start also receiving deeper answers and that's when his consciousness will be getting wider and wider he will be more conscious about what is happening so the his state of being is his state of consciousness we can know from our personal experiences we are meeting different people in our life and we are actually with our state of being we are attracting into our life just the people who are on a same level of consciousness as we are and the proof to it can be when we start changing ourselves we will start meeting new people so let's say the level of this man's consciousness this guy's consciousness is also the level of his friend's consciousness so together they are producing a collective consciousness but this is still just a small group of collective consciousness so they are all the that group is thinking about the same things they are feeling about similar emotions so that's why they are attracted together it can also explain why people are in your life a certain people are in your life and many times <laughs> we are complaining about people like they are hanging together but when they go home they are complaining about each other 
but even if they are complaining about each other they are still attracting each other because they are constantly thinking about them and a wise person is never doing that because if you don't like someone you can help him or you can go away if that person that you want to help them or him or her is not accepting your help then it's better to go away because he or she is not open to receive your help yet so this is now we are talking now about the collective consciousness but th this is still just a small part of the collective consciousness let's say this is just one group but on our on our world there are many different groups of different states of consciousness a different state of consciousness but because here let's say this is our world now we are again losing space here <clears throat> this is our world now when different groups on our planet are creating different states of consciousness all those different groups of people are adding their energy into the collective consciousness of our world now the new science can measure this electromagnetic field of our planet and they were also doing different experiments when they were um, asking different groups to make a different guided meditations or a group guided meditations for more days and they were measuring after it the changes on that electromagnetic field and if those changes also affected on the events on the world and actually they found out that if they were doing it in a certain city the city becomes more uh, calm all the negative events starts to falling down and the positive events started start to rising and this is just an amazing proof that um, we can really make a change and i think that one of those experiments was called the gathering peace project and this is just one experiment but let's say now okay now we see how we are adding something to the collective consciousness because each of these little groups adding the energy which they are producing to our beautiful planet so the question now is what kind of energy you are adding to it because here things are becoming really really important aren't all things important here <laughs> yes so the question here is what kind of energy you are sending to the field or if you are looking on people around you what kind of people are surrounding you are those people serving your higher purpose or they are slowing you down or pulling you down because it's always up to you if you will still hang with those people or if you will start attracting new people because when you will change your thoughts and when those thoughts will be strong enough to change your emotions you will start producing new state of being a new state of being will start attracting new people into your life and new people into your life life will also add something to your state of being to your collective consciousness which can make everything more positive or more negative it depends of in which in which direction you will decide to go so what is happening now as a great awakening that i'm talking about so now we need to erase this so we will have more space to go on and if we understand now the collective consciousness 
and how we are adding the energy to, to collective consciousness. We can see now why this is happening just now. Because in our past, we were not actually aware of what was going on. We were living life of a different habits. We were going to work, going home, watching TV, and we were just unconscious. But now when more and more people are started waking up, which means more and more people are producing the higher energy, which means higher energy, which is adding to collective consciousness. That means that the people who are still on a low vibrations, who are still caught in fear and stress, are facing with challenges. So people who are, let's say, um, sleep so with those people I mean people who are still not aware that they are divine beings that they are infinite creators those are people who are in fear people who are following the system following all the rules and are not aware about what they are thinking and how they are fe feeling those people are going through hard challenges right now. And why is that? Because every time when we are facing with awakening, we need something to wake us up. And I know from my experiences, I always went through challenges so I was able to wake up and those challenges were not really nice they they were really facing me with lots of fears lots of worries I didn't know what will happen next so what happened was I I was led into the unpredictable future which means I couldn't know what will happen after it but what happened also was that I was always after those challenges, I was more clear about what I really want to do in my life. And once I really knew what is my purpose, I just started following it. And at that time, everything changed, changed because those challenges were leading me into to my purpose and my purpose is still leading me to to more freedom and more freedom is leading me to more happiness and what we can learn from here now so People who are not awake yet are facing with challenges and challenges are leading us to find, finding our purpose. And with purpose we find freedom and with freedom we find happiness. So that's why I'm sure that we are facing with the great awakening right now. And why is it important? Because we are moving through an important state of life right now because I don't know if any time in history so many different challenging moments happened at the same time and that's why I think this moment right now is really important so for all of you who who went through challenges already and you feel better right now it means that you are one step closer to your purpose but for those of you who feel that you are still asleep, that I mean, not just asleep, but you are still facing with challenges, that's okay, because it means that you are moving through something greater. And like I said before, every time when we are moving th through the hardest challenges of our lives, it means that life is leading us to our purpose. And every time when we went through those challenges at the end we always say oh i'm so grateful that it happened because otherwise i would be still asleep 
I would be still sleeping, I would still be not aware of what is happening. So that's why I think this is so important. So don't worry right now what is happening because everything will be okay and we are all here with a reason. We are all here with a special reason and as soon as we will find out what is that reason, what is that purpose that we are here, that we've been sent here, we will find freedom. And this freedom will bring us happiness. And that's when our life will become an amazing experience. We will become artists of our life. And like I said in my previous video, we will become, our life will become as a canvas and we will start designing our life. So this is it for today. I'm sending you lots of blessings and love. Let me know if you would like to learn anything more in the next video or if you have any more questions. So write in the comments below and see you soon. Have a beautiful time. Peace.